Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to UG Capital Venture. I'm CJ. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to interact with Sunday Swap on the Cardano testnet. We're going to get straight to it, get straight to the value. I'll try not to fumble over any words given that it's seven o'clock in the morning my time and I, <laughs> in the morning my time and I haven't slept. All right, with that being said, let's get straight to it. So you want to head over to testnet.sundayswap.finance. Okay, that's your first step. Link will be in the description. Okay, at the top right corner of your screen, click on beta guide they have this broken down into three easy steps there are some small sub steps that are missing that can can easily get you stuck so we'll clear those up as we go through all right so the first thing you want to do is click the first button that's going to take you to a download uh the download page for the nami wallet okay if that link doesn't work just google nami wallet and uh like this right click the first link and you'll be here now i use the chrome extension all right go hit your chrome extension it'll take you to the down the download page click add to chrome all right i've already done it now once you do that you're going to see it pop up at, at the top right in your extensions okay if you don't see it it might be under this under the puzzle piece here and you can just go and pin it if you want to like this and that way you can see it always all right so now that's that easy we can go back and we can go to the sunday swap test net again all right now Let's go to the next step. Connect your wallet. Before we do that, there's a kind of ambiguous, there's a kind of uh, ambiguous step here. Like I told you. So what we what we'll do before we do that is let's go into our Nummy wallet. Let's go to our avatar here. Note you will notice that you don't have any of these assets. We'll get to that in a second. Notice that my wallet said t says testnet at the bottom here. It says testnet, right? And that's what we're about to do. We're about to switch over to our network to testnet. All right. So click your avatar at the top right. Click settings. Click, click network and switch from mainnet to testnet. As simple as that, right? Now, now that you've done that, you can either click connect wallet here or you can go back to the beta guide and click connect wallet. Okay, agree and connect. That's simply, we're connected and we're almost good to go. Go back to your beta guide, click this last button. That's gonna fund your wallet. Now that's gonna, that's gonna submit a contract that's going to release the tokens to you after a period of time. So you have to wait for those to get to you. You will see a pending symbol and eventually you'll see a green check once your funds are there. Once your funds are finally there, you can go back to your Nummy wallet and you can see all of your funds. Funds and you'll be uh, pretty much in a good position to start using the platform. OK, and from this point, I'll show you guys how to swap and how to uh, provide liquidity. Okay, guys, one more very important step before we continue. This was actually a confusing one, okay? So you have to provide collateral in order to interact with smart contracts on Cardano, okay? So in order to do that, go to your Nummy wallet at the top right, hit your avatar, select collateral, and I already did this. So go through the process here. Let me remove mine and see what happens. All right, let me remove my collateral, and then let me go back, add my collateral and i have to actually put my password in hopefully that's my password and confirm there we go so now i have collateral back okay so in order to interact with smart contracts you have to have the collateral there okay so i wanted to throw that in now that we've done that we can go ahead and make our swap okay so let's jump over to the swap tab which is right here let's do a swap between t ada and hmm chocolate let's try this chocolate one all right let's do 10 t ada click swap let's do a hold to swap release i like the uh, hold and release uh, functionality now you're going to get this escrow page here if you do not have collateral then you will not be able to actually sign this uh transaction okay so don't miss that step all right hit sign in well hit sign to sign the contract and hit confirm and then it's going to wait yeah, it's going to put in the contract now since this is the test net this is the first day uh things that well that was quick that actually went super fast uh that wasn't as bad as i thought this i was going to say it's slow because it's test net but as you can see that transaction went through really quick and uh especially for it to be a test net and uh we have a successful transaction now we'll go over and we'll actually uh, provide liquidity. I'll show you how to provide liquidity. Let's jump over to the liquidity tab and let's find a pair here. 
Um, let's do a, a Ada chocolate pair. We know we have Ada. We know we have chocolate. We just did a transaction for that. So let's add liquidity. Oh, already, as you can see, I already have liquidity here. And I did this one before um, I got with you all. As you can see, I have I can withdraw liquidity. Let me see what happens if I do that before we actually add liquidity. I want to withdraw 31% and withdraw liquidity. Hold to do the transaction. So yeah, this is a new thing I'm testing and that I haven't been able to test yet. So I have to sign. Password. Transaction waiting. Okay. So I'll get back to you guys once that finishes. My first transaction went quick. Well, <laughs> there you go. That finished. All right. So this this thing is going a little faster than I actually expected. I was expecting it to be a little slower than that uh, since it was the test net. So now that I pulled out some liquidity, uh, let me try to do. Let me try to add some more liquidity. I've already done Ada and chocolate. Let's see. I want to do something I know I have. I feel like people are adding new 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 tokens and stuff that I, that I'm not aware of. Like I think I just saw Hosky on here. Anyway, that's interesting. So let's do a let's do a uh, add liquidity between Ada and our Barry here. Um, let's do 20. I'll do 20 Ada, and let's add liquidity. Hold and deposit, and you can actually earn earn by doing this right. Earn rewards, uh, but since this is a test net, I'm just doing anything not really thinking about it too much i'll let you all play around with it and i'll play around with it more also so here sign confirm the transaction and we'll let the transaction wait now it's been going a little faster than i expected but i'm going to say it again i might speed up the video if this takes more time than i expect um because we're on we are on the test net okay but we have done a swap we have provided liquidity we have withdrawn liquidity, transaction completed, and we have added more liquidity. All right, so now you can also see your portfolio and you can see all of the uh, liquidity that you've added. I don't see my latest one here, but that will update. It takes a little time. All right, so one little thing I noticed was that if you go and this is like a little, this might be a bug or a feature, but if you go and you disconnect your wallet, right? And you connect your wallet back, then if you go and look at your transactions, you lose all your transaction history, okay? Which may not be a problem. That might actually very well be a feature of the platform. Just something I noticed. I'm gonna be reporting that to the, to the team just in case it's not actually a feature, all right? Um, with that being said, one more thing I wanna show you, okay? The point of this is so you can test out the actual product before it goes, well, test out the test product before it goes to the main net, all right? And once it's on main net, the whole, the big picture is that we're gonna be able to interact with this stuff, all right? This large ecosystem that is eventually gonna wake up, it's in process right now. Instead of uh, exchanging between these fake tokens, we'll be using real tokens and going into these real projects. And that's the exciting part, okay? For those that don't actually realize that goal and how close we are, that's really the main goal and that's the excitement of this, all right? So if you like this content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, in the comments, let me know what you think about this type of content. Was it useful? And I'll keep the videos coming, guys. Peace. Ah.